And all right guys, so here we are, Android on an iPhone. What's up guys, the tech spot here and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to run Android, install Android on your iPhone, okay? This is super, super cool. Now currently this only supports the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus and you do have to jailbreak. So if you have a spare iPhone 7 or 7 Plus laying around and you want to try this out, go ahead and give it a shot. It's super, super cool. More device support will be coming in the future and it is really easy to do. You can run full-fledged Android like the entire operating system on your iPhone. This is crazy. You must be jailbroken with the check rain jailbreak, not the uncovered jailbreak, the check rain jailbreak, otherwise this will not work. So to jailbreak with check rain, you want to go to plug your device into your computer. And by the way, I will be showing you guys how to do this on Mac. If you are on Windows, my full check rain Windows jailbreak tutorial will be down below in the description. And then from there is basically the exact same steps on Windows. But anyways, once your device is plugged in, I'm going to close this out. You want to open up your internet browser and we want to go ahead and download check rain now again this is on only mac right now if you want to know how to jailbreak on windows link will be down below in the description but for mac there's a download right there go ahead and click on it and once you have downloaded you can see i have download right there and i saved it to my desktop so i'm gonna head over there and there is check rain so i'm gonna go and double click on the dmg file to install it and what you want to do is once this pops up open up finder and then go to your applications folder so i'm going to open up a new window so file new finder window all right so once over here going to go to your applications folder and all you want to do is drag and drop check rain into your applications folder once that is done you can go to x out of here and now you want to right click on the check rain jailbreak and then click on open and make sure they do put in your applications folder otherwise it might not open up so it didn't open up so it looks like we have to click on it again so let's go back to the applications folder double click on it all right so there is check rain my device is detected you do have to make sure that your device is trusted so once you're going to plug in your device if it asks you to trust on your device once you're going to unlock it make sure you tap on trust and leave your device unlocked okay so i'm going to put it down right there what you want to do now in check rain is click on start and once you do that, click on it next. Now, this will go to put your device into recovery mode. All right, and once we are in recovery mode, we can proceed with the next step. So hit start, holding down both buttons. And once that step three appears, I'm gonna go ahead and let go of that power button and keep on holding down on the volume down button, okay? And just like that, we should be good to go. I can let go now. You guys can see it was successful. Okay, so my device is being jailbroken with check rain. As I can see, very, very easy jailbreak. Anyways, it's going to go back into our device. And if you're going to swipe over... Oh, okay. All right, actually just popped up over there. Okay, because that was where I placed it before. You can go ahead and install Cydia, but you don't have to to be able to install Android. Okay, guys, so now that we're jailbroken with Check Rain, we can click on Done right here and exit out of Check Rain. Now, leave your device plugged in. And what you want to do now is, again, open up your internet browser. So the second link in the description will be right here to Project Sandcastle. It's Android for the iPhone. You can go and read about it right here. And there's a lot about it. So it's basically full-fledged Android, the entire operating system on your iPhone, so it's really, really cool. Anyways, if you scroll back down over here next to the sandcastle, you can see it says get the beta now, so click on that option, and you can go ahead and download the Android build from over here. Now, I already saved it to my desktop, so I'm not gonna download it again, but I'm gonna close out of my internet browser, and there is a zip file that we do get. So all you wanna do is extract it on Mac, that's just a double click, and anyways, it'll gonna bring you another folder. So I'm gonna go and delete the zip file because we don't need that anymore. But here is Android Sandcastle. All right, so now I'm just gonna set my device down. Again, make sure to leave it plugged in. All right, so now what you wanna do is open up Terminal. So bring up Spotlight Search, type in Terminal, and then go ahead and open it up. So there it is right there. Let's go and bring it up. And I'm gonna actually open up a new window because I got something else running. And all right, so here we are. So this is what you guys will see over here. Now, first thing we need to do is type in CD space and direct it to the path of the Android Castle folder. So it's gonna drag and drop the Android Castle folder over here and click on enter. And once you do that, type in chmod plus X, just like that, and space again right after. And you're gonna open up the Android Castle folder and drag and drop the setup underscore Mac SH file. All right, once that, go ahead and hit enter again. And now type in sh space 
and then go ahead and drag and drop the setup underscore mac sh file again and once again click on enter once you do that it'll go ahead and run through and if it brings up an error at this part first of all if it says could not connect to the setup folder or something like that could not open it then the first thing you could try is go ahead and click on your desktop and click on go at the top and click on go to folder once you click on go to folder go to type in the following thing right here and I click on go now if it does actually find the folder it will see a file called known host go ahead and delete known host and you should be good to go now if that doesn't fix it again make sure that you are using the check range jailbreak and not the uncovered jailbreak and if you already have the check range jailbreak like i do and you're still getting a different error so for me it says failed to mount disk setup failed then what you want to do is go and open up check rain tap on restore system all right so going to tap on the option tap on restore system again and just like that we want to go ahead and read jailbreak with check rain this is going to remove the jailbreak so we want to read jailbreak with check rain just to make sure we have a fresh install and don't worry you will not lose any of your data so i'm going to wait for it all right so once you are back in your device you want to go ahead and see if you have stop city installed if you don't that means you're good to go and you can see check rain is also not there you can see it's not there anymore all right so anyways what you want to do is going to read jailbreak with check rain so again we're just going to read jailbreak real quick all right we're in recovery mode and again start hold down both these buttons we're going to go ahead and let go of the power button keep on holding down on the volume down button yep okay cool so we read jailbreak with check rain and this will basically reset the files and everything just to make sure everything does work this will be your best bet just to go ahead and remove the check rain jailbreak and go ahead and reinstall the check rain jailbreak which literally takes like a minute so it's really not that bad i'm gonna go back into my device all right gonna open it up it does work open up terminal again over here so again my device connected let's go and do this again so again we're gonna type in cd space and i'm gonna go and drag and drop the android castle folder over and hit enter now we're gonna type in chmod plus x space setup underscore mac sh and again hit enter again and now we're gonna type in sh space again we're gonna drag and drop that same setup mac folder or file and then again we're gonna hit enter again and looks like now it says this will take a few minutes that's how you know it is working okay so now it's actually going through thank god okay we got past all the errors and now we are actually going to have android on our device so i showed you guys how to fix all those various issues if you guys do have any if you do have any more other issues let me know down in the comments and i'll try to help you guys out but again this is a very very new build of this project so they might have some bugs so it's going to wait for this now this part will take some time and all right so finally finished that took about five minutes and anyways it says setup was successful all right so that's the longest part of this and i'll just wait but anyways now what we want to do is type in sh again space and this time we're going to drag and drop start underscore mac not setup underscore mac but this time start underscore mac so we're going to drag and drop that and now let's go to hit enter again and just going to wait i can see it says over here please put your device into dfu mode so to do this what you want to do is in, on your iphone 7 and 7 plus hold down the volume down and power button for eight seconds and after eight seconds go ahead and let go of the power button all right eight and let go all right so now we're holding down the volume down button and that was after eight seconds so we let go of the power button and we keep on holding down on the volume down button all right and there you go it just was successful so you can see my device is in dfu mode and now everything is going through so there you go and you guys can see starting android all right guys the exciting part let's go and wait and let me go to focus on my device now all right Woo. all right it's going through Wow, look at all that code. You got the two little Linux bunnies, I mean, bunnies, uh, penguins sitting up there. And it's going through, and boom, Android. Whoa. This is cool. This is really, really cool. This is the full-fledged Android running on an iPhone. This is really cool. So we are in now, so I'm going to unplug my device. And all right, guys, so here we are, Android on an iPhone. Who would have thought the day would come? But anyways, I can see this a lock screen. It kind of fades out, too. So you got your time right there. You got notifications. You can actually go and swipe up to go into the Android device. And anyways, I mean the iPhone. It's got Android running on it. But we got the date at the top. If I go and swipe down from here, we actually got the Android notification center. So this is not his skin or anything. It's actual Android running on your iphone which is the cool part like i can see even all the buttons works by going to clear all my notifications 
I can actually go and do that. It's kind of a little bit slow and laggy because Android does demand higher specs. But anyways, at the very bottom, we do have our back button. We got our home button. And we got the button to enter the apps, which, which I'll be showing you guys in a second because I need to open up some apps first. So we can head over here to check out some apps and you guys go open up settings app. And you can see we have all the settings for Android. So this is pretty cool. Now go back from that button right there. I go and tap on this button to bring up a multitasking switcher right there. And just like on iOS, to close an app, all you do is swipe up. So there's that. And let's go back over here. Let's go and test out another application. Let's go and open up, let's say, Gallery. Let's see if I actually use the gallery on my phone. And um, so we're connected. And looks like it doesn't. So yeah, guys. I wonder if it has a camera app. Let's go and check that out. Let's go and hit the home button. Go back to the apps. And where is camera? So again, this is does not have completely everything, but... It's uh, it's still Android on your phone. It's gonna open up calculator. I mean calendar or what is this? What I click on the clock. I open up the clock. I go and X out of here. And there's also a search on Android. So you can search for specific apps and stuff like that. So it's fun to play around with. I mean, this is not really for being use of, but it's very gimmicky, and it's just fun to play around with and just to know that you can run Android on your iPhone. Or your iPod. So how do you exit out of Android and go back to iOS? Well, all you have to do is reboot your device. So hold down the power button, and we'll get the Android power down menu. As I can see, this is actual Android. That's crazy. You can take a screenshot, and let's go ahead and just go restart our device. Tap on restart, restarting, and we should be back on iOS here in a second. Now, while I'm waiting for it to boot up, you could also go ahead and install Linux on your iPhone or iPod as well. And they do have a build for that in Sandcastle as well. But yeah, I'll just be showing you guys this right here. And in the future, if you guys do want to make me to make a video on Linux as well, then let me know down below in the comments. Anyways, we're back to stock OS. This is a text bot. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace out.